Hello, I am Bruce Walker of the Bundjalung tribe. I was born at a place called Turtle Point, our old reserve, back in the 1940s. I grew up there before we went to the, along the riverbank, chasing our wildlife, food, living off fish, turtles, whatever it may be. Then we moved over to a place to where we live now, the, the new reserve, Tabulum Village. We was under manager's control. Had to be very strict at the time. Not like the freedom we got today, but at the time of growing up, and we had to be subject. And but through it all, I believe, God had his hands upon me. I remember going to school on a horse. We used to ride on a horse, three Ks. My uncle was there, an elder, Eric Walker with his name, opened the gate for me. And I still remember these words as plain as, as though they happened on a yesterday. He said, Gala Babara, He said, there's somebody watching you at all times. It could have been from that time, something within me happened spiritually. Something, God departed something in my life. As I was riding along with, there's a big tree on the road. I pulled up and I looked up into that tree. I was looking up into the heavens. And I said, hey, if you're there, come reveal yourself to me. I want to know you more. But little did I knew the plan of God. Growing up, I always thought about the Lord. I never drank. I never smoked in my life. God didn't allow me going down that track. Becoming a teenager, pretty swift on my feet. For the 1956 Olympic Games, the manager came. He asked my mom for permission to take me to train me for that 1956 Olympic Games in Melbourne. My mum said, no, I don't want you to go. 100 metres, I would have raced against, against the great Yasiel. But God had put me in another race. He's put me in this other race that I can run. Run to be a messenger for him. At the age of 15, I give my heart to the Lord. In our little church at Tabulum, where God was moving mightily amongst the elders. And I gave my heart to Jesus there. Found a beautiful girlfriend. 12th of March, 1960, that's when we get married. God gave us six beautiful boys, two daughters, I lost count of my grandsons. Last I counted was 22. My great grandies ran about 26. So I'm a bit like Father Abraham. <laughs> Got many sons. And then when my dad passed away, I was elected as a pastor to the church. 40 years, I've been a pastor in the little village called Tablam. Father Abraham have many sons, and I feel that I have many sons and daughters in those 40 years. My wife has been called home. We had a wonderful time, loving one another, caring for one another. All I can say, God is so good. There's got to be a change. 
across this land of Australia. If we stay in God's ordinance, we'll have all the blessing and all the beautiful thing what God offers us. God is so good. And that's what I like to say to people. He's so loving, he's so kind. He's helping the time of trouble. He's always there. You know, if this nation would only turn back to God, and if it don't change, we're gonna face disaster. If everybody, if we don't change, the politician don't change, we're gonna change back, loving one another and caring for each other. What he's put down within the word for us. Love the Lord with all our heart. He will look after it, this great land of ours. If the people only come back to God, God is calling this nation back to repentance. He loves everybody, no matter who it is. Because the word says, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. If we turn back to our first love towards God, God will restore this old land of Australia. You'll see things that you never seen grow before will grow in this great land. Family will be saved. Everybody will be living in harmony. You know, they'll be rejoicing. They'll be singing, shouting, praising the Lord all over the place if this nation will only turn back to God. You know what he promises? He said he will take away every sickness, every disease. It'll be heaven on earth if we can only just turn back to God. Heavenly Father, you said you'll never leave us nor forsake us. You said, call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not of. And we cry unto you today, our God, our Father, our Daddy, hear our humble prayer. I'm crying today for this nation, for the Parliament, Lord. We ask you to speak to them, that this nation will turn back to, you, to the Lord. We ask you, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will move in the, upon this great land, this great land of ours, Australia. Lord, from the south to the east, from the north to the west. Lord, the people will come and turn back to you. They will surrender back unto you. Say, what must I do to be saved? Lord, we can show them nowhere else but tell them to come to the cross where you bled and died for our sin. Who's ever listening? I ask you, individual, to speak to them. Lord, we just ask you now to have your way. As they turn back to you, you promise you're going to bless this land. You said when you pray, say, How, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give me this day my daily bread and forgive my trespasses as I forgive those who trespass against me. Lead me not into temptation, but deliver me. Deliver Australia out of the hand of the enemy, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Yeah, so you are proud of Abraham.